Your business depends on transferring mission-critical sensitive data securely and reliably. Yeah, listen. Uh, we fucked up. You've likely been seeing headlines or hearing chatter about this MoveIt exploit that's been making waves in the cyber world, right? Honestly, the whole thing is just straight up insane. So this gang of ransomware baddies who go by the name Klopp found this chink in the armor of MoveIt transfer. This is a crucial tool that's used widely by big corporations and enterprises for their heavy lifting. That is, they send mammoth-sized files all over the internet. Now the team behind MoveIt the people at Progress Software, they did manage to patch up the hole, but as we know, in the cyber world, the bad guys are always looking for their first mover advantage. They exploited the weak spot, made the move before the patch could be implemented, and did what they needed to. The aftermath of their digital rampage, it's still unfolding, and the repercussions will echo in the cybersecurity space for quite some time. It's like watching a blockbuster thriller. Only this time, the villains are real, and the victims are not just characters on a screen. Klopp has been brazenly dropping the names of their victims on the dark web, like some sort of twisted trophy display. We're talking about big US banks, prestigious universities, major multinational companies, you name it. From first source, to first national banker's bank in the finance sector, to the energy behemoth Shell. No sector seems to be immune from their grasp. But things are ramping up fast. Seriously, it's like every day there's a new victim popping out of nowhere, like some weird game of cyber whack-a-mole. And get this, the experts are saying there could still be thousands of these MoveIt servers, mostly here in the US, just hanging out there waiting to get snatched. It's like there's this digital buffet laid out for anyone shady enough to take a bite. And you know what's even more mind-blowing? This team could have been lurking in the shadows for much longer than we initially thought. Some eagle-eyed analyst in the American risk consulting firm Kroll dug deep into this and unearthed signs that Klopp could have been probing this vulnerability since as far back as 2021. Now while it's not unusual for hackers to lie low, bidding their time while they plot the perfect strike, it's the extent of the access they had during this period and the boldness of their actions that's just seriously jaw-dropping. The game of cat and mouse in the cyber world just went to the next level. So to wrap this all up, what we're looking at here with the MoveIt exploit is not just a one-off incident, but something that's potentially been brewing under the radar for years. It's a stark reminder that the digital world isn't just about making our lives easier. It's also a playground for those who don't play by the rules. The audacity of Klopp, the scope of their access, and the way they've been lying in wait like a wake-up call echoing through the cybersecurity community but we've been here before, haven't we? Will this be the time that we actually learn? Probably not. Guys, DEF CON is right around the corner. I'm really hoping to meet a lot of you there. This year has been absolutely insane, and I appreciate you. Remember, I am Jacoby. My crime is that of curiosity. And yeah, curiosity killed the cat, but satisfaction brought him back. Till next time.